Well, hello, folks out there in YouTube land. Got an interesting show for you. All right, let's pull up this screen. A big-time running back will decide very soon. He's a four-star, and he's one big dude. Now, this guy's not your average cat, okay? He's big. You're going to need a bigger boat. About six foot one, 230 pounds. And he runs with a tenacity. I can tell you this is not your average uh, dude. And this is on Fan Nation Volunteer Country. It says four-star running back Braylon Russell announces commitment date. And it looks like it's going to be this week. I believe it's Friday. And he's going to choose between the Volunteers, Arkansas, and South Carolina. And he's actually from Arkansas, but he actually decommitted from Arkansas earlier. I believe one fella come from Arkansas. Get it? And that was back in October. And then he reopened his recruitment, and he's planning on uh, shutting down his recruitment after he decides, which again is Friday at 745. He will be on 247 to make that decision. And here it says the Razorbacks are certainly contenders, even though he did decommit from him. He said, we believe this is a two-horse race between them and Tennessee with the Vols carrying momentum ahead of his commitment because he actually was here in Knoxville in uh, June, I believe. And again, that's 745 on 247, their YouTube channel. And it talks about um, how the Vols have already gotten Peyton Lewis. And Peyton is an unbelievably fast dude. He's probably the fastest running back in the country, and we've already got him committed. And if we get this guy, they're labeling him thunder and lightning. And this would be a great get for us. I'd like to have that big time uh, guy that can get you that two or three yards plus. The way we spread – the defense out, you get a guy that's 230 pounds and you give him the ball and they try to arm tackle him or these little defensive backs try to tackle him, he's going to absolutely punish them. So he would be a very interesting get for the Vols. And let's take a look at some of his highlights and you'll see what I'm talking about. And as you'll see here, once he gets the ball, I mean, he's so much bigger, of course, than these high school guys, but he's got good quickness. He's got good speed for his size. I mean, he outruns some of these guys that are half his size. Now, he's not, you know, some 4'3 or 4'4 four, four burner, but at 230 pounds, you don't have to be. Now, watch this cut right here. And then this is all speed, and these guys are half his size. There's a cornerback cannot catch him. That guy should be able to catch him, but he's just too fast, which is uh, impressive at that size, and that's why so many teams are after him. This is where I think he could help us the most in these uh, short yardage uh, situations. Like uh, inside the 10-yard line, he's going to be tough to stop, especially, like I say, we spread out the offense so much. Here you'll see him again. There's no way you're going to arm tackle him. There's no That guy didn't have a chance. And then again, he's outrunning these guys that are half his size. And you watch right here. That I mean, he just absolutely manhandled that guy. He just threw him into the ground. That's a nice move right there. And then you will not arm tackle him. You can just forget that. I mean, they, it's almost like they're not even touching him. They are trying to arm tackle him, but he just doesn't budge. Let's watch one more. And he's playing in an offense that's kind of similar to the Vols. Now, not as spread out as much, but again, I mean, this is – those guys don't have a chance. And really, I understand it's high school, so, you know, he's going to make those other teams just look silly. You know, you think about being in high school, being 230 pounds and running with that type of speed and that type of uh, power, that's just no bueno for the defense. It's really unfair, but he would be a nice pickup for us. Now, we've got a big guy that came in last year, a three-star, by the name of Khalifa Keith, and he's six foot, 235, and he's going to be a similar style runner. This guy's rated a little bit higher, but it would be nice to have a couple of big backs who can get you those short yardage runs and look the way we spread it out man it'd be nice to see him at the 50 yard line just absolutely like a bowling ball knocking over those defensive backs i could see him being strong we are very uh, solid at running back of course we've got jabari small jalen wright and then of course uh, dylan sampson who's really come on so we're, we're great with the quick backs who uh, have a lot of speed but we're a little bit thin with the big strong running backs Again, we do have one, but it'd be nice to have a second. So this would be a really good recruiting class for running backs if we pick up both Peyton Lewis and this fella. And it would also keep up our momentum because we've just picked up three straight four stars. So a fourth one would be real nice. So I thought I'd do a video on this fella. And again, Friday at 745, he will be uh, deciding. And uh, we'll see how this goes. But uh, the Vols appear to have the momentum. We'll see how it goes. He is from Arkansas. 
but he did decommit for some reason. So I could see him fitting in really well here. I would very much like to have somebody of that size and strength in our running back room. That would be really excellent. And if you like this content, be sure to hit that like button. Let's move to continue to cover the Vols and all that good stuff. If you've not subscribed, it's on your right and my left. Just hit that little button. I would appreciate it. And right over here is the most recent video that YouTube thinks you'll love. And we'll see you next time on Sports Talk Jay.